If you are interested in decentralized finance and building project like Uniswap Glow on any exchange platform, then these are the topics which you have to know very most. Because when you will sit for the interview, the company, those who are going to take your interview, they're going to ask this question heavily because all the decentralized exchanges work on this protocol on this particular tool. So you have to know. So that's what we will talk about in this video that what are the topics you have to know, what do you have to learn from where you can learn it and how you can able to develop your skills along building couple of projects. That's all we want to talk about it. So the very first topic we have in the list is that what is blockchain and how we can utilize in our day-to-day -day life? What problem exactly is solved? What is the power it's give to its individual? So you have to know, misunderstood the concept of the blockchain. When you talk about the blockchain, they think about the cryptography, trading, buying coin. It's not about that. There is a lot of thing beyond that small concept. So you can able to build a large scalable application. You can able to build a financial product which can facilitate you performing financial transaction. If you look at the current scenario and the current financial system we have right now in all the country, you will find that we are heavily dependent on the centralized authority. But when it's come to the blockchain and if you build any dApp on the blockchain, what happened? It's give the power to its individual. So I'm the user sitting in India. I want to transfer any fund to anybody in Russia, Canada, USA. I can able to communicate with them. So I can able to send the money straight away to those who are in different country without any worry. If I want to do the normal transfer of the fund to different country, I have to go with this centralized system. And there is a lot of charges that are involved because there is a lot of intermediate. But when you do the same transaction on the decentralized ecosystem using this blockchain technology, there's only you and the one who will receive the fund. There's no intermediate. So that's the benefit. So you have to understand, you have to learn about deeply that what blockchain is and what kind of possibilities bring to its user in the market right now, where everything is controlled. And this blockchain gives you the power to expand it and give it more flexibility. So you have to learn about blockchain. You have to prepare a proper note. I know this will take a little bit of time. When you will start learning, just build your note, write it down everything, what is blockchain, then give a couple of examples, explain on it, build a couple of examples from your end. So when you will sit for the interview, so you can be able to give these kind of examples in the interview. So the interviewer can know, okay, he has the knowledge. So learn about blockchain. After that, you have to learn about smart contract, that what smart contract is, what kind of things we can do with the smart contract, what program we can write in the smart contract and how we can execute on the blockchain. Because right now we have multiple blockchain. Blockchain was launched. At that point, we were not able to execute the contract. But when Ethereum was launched, that's the power it brings. That you're not only able to do the financial transaction, send money, receive money, but you can also run program. So that can give more power to a developer. So what kind of application you can develop and run on the blockchain with the help of smart contract? I can give you one example about the smart contract execution that how you can implement in the real world problem solving. So in India, the biggest problem we have in the farming industry, every year, like thousands of farmers commit suicide because of the bad weather and their crops getting worse and they're not getting the minimum support price from the government. And we're having a lot of protests recently. So there is a lot of clash between the government and the farmers. So what you can do is you can use this smart contract execution. You can build a DAP and register all the farmers and you're going to provide the data about the weather conditions. So when the rain is not that good, the, the farming is not happening that good. So this contract will automatically transfer the fund to all those farmers who are associated with this particular DAP. So there is no intermediate. So the biggest problem we have in the in India that there is a lot of intermediates player we have. And because of that, the farmer not get their price. The most of the money get reduced in the middle. So that's the problem you can solve. If you guys want, I can easily able to build the application using this particular technology where we're going to have a set of farmers. Farmer will register themselves into this DAB model and we're going to provide some weather condition details. So when there is not good tray, the money will automatically transfer to the farmer. So this is one of the business models you can include and you can launch. So learn about the smart contract. After that, you have to learn about the Ethereum. That what is Ethereum? Why we have so many blockchains? Why only Ethereum? We have Bitcoin, we have Polygon, we have, we have Binance. Why Ethereum? So learn about it. After that, you have to learn about the tools. That what are the tools that are available for us as a developer, as a user point of view? So what tools we have, which we have to use for developing or doing the normal financial structure. So you have to learn about the tools. Then you have to have a little bit of understanding about the backend because sometimes you have to store data in the backend, in the API. So you have to know that what is backend, what are the options you have to use the backend. So we have multiple backend provider. You can go with MongoDB, you can go with the Rabbit API. There's tons of things we have. So learn about it. Then you have to learn about the framework because when you go to build a DAP, Definitely you're going to use any framework. You can build your DAB using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But you have other options as well. Like you can use Next.js, React, Angular, multiple framework we have which you can pick. So you have to learn about the framework as well. So these are the topics which you have to master. Now let's talk about the providers. That how you can utilize the external provider to build your application faster and get more detail. So number one we have is Infura 
which is very important because Infira will allow you to communicate with the blockchain, different blockchain. Right now, we have multiple providers, like you can go with Avalanche, Binance, there's tons of provider we have, but you can use this Infura as well. You can use their IPFS service to store the data on the decentralized ecosystem. So learn about it. Then you will have to learn about the data distribution storage, that how you can distribute the data, how you can store the data within the contract, within your DAP, on the blockchain. So you have to learn about it. After that, you have to learn about the front end security. Then you have to learn about the chain. Then you have to learn about the future of Ethereum. That, so what kind of improvement they are making in Ethereum? And what is the future of Ethereum? Because recently you have seen there is a lot of update in Ethereum blockchains. Earlier, the transaction was pretty slow, but now we can do the transaction very fast. So what kind of ecosystem they have changed in the past one and the recent one? So you have to learn about it. Then you have to learn about the DeFi uses. As I told you that, I gave you the one financial product that if anybody wants to transfer any fund to anywhere, they can do it straight away without any involvement of any third party authority. So you have to learn about it. So these are the couple of things which you have to know, which you have to know. And if you master it, when you will apply for a job, when you will apply for an internship, this is the question they're going to ask you as a beginner level. After that, you, when you will go to the coding round, they're going to ask you more specific to the coding, but you have to clear your first round. So these are the things you have to know. This will show you, this will show the employer that you have the understanding about the thing which you are applying for. So that will help you a lot. So I hope you guys have got an idea that what exactly you have to learn, what are the things you have to cover to increase your understanding about the blockchain and what are the things are there which you have to master and what kind of problem we can solve through this particular technology. We already have a lot of project on our channel which targeting different industries. So if I come back to the source code section, we have multiple projects. Just have a look. We have the supply chain management. We have solving the problem of crowdfunding. So if you want to raise any fund in the decentralized ecosystem, you can raise it. Create an ad campaign, create a funding campaign. We have NFT marketplace where you can simply allow the user to create NFT, digital asset. Then we have the voting organizations. You can take this voting organization to any industry where you want to conduct vote. If you talk about the country, we have elections. So you can use the same model. We have a decentralized chat application. We are storing all the chat models in our contract on the blockchain cryptographic to encrypt the data. Then we have this Etherscan clone. We are getting all the data from the blockchain and then we are displaying in our DAP. So in this, you will learn about that, how you can read the data from the blockchain. We have a Uniswap clone, decentralization we have built. We have multiple projects. This is the API. This is the real estate DAP. We have built the NFT marketplace API, how you can build the blockchain API, which you can provide to a third party application. That's what we have. We have MetaMask clone, staking DAP. We have a smart contract auditor. We have a chat GTP. We have decentralized clone. We have SASH product where we are allowing to, uh, where we are allowing user to come and create their token and we are charging money for it. Then we have our ICO. We have Uniswap token marketplace. Then we have the blockchain Facebook. So now this one is totally controlled by smart contract on the blockchain. Right now we have centralized Facebook but we can make it decentralized. That's what you will find. We Here we have this trading bot. Here we have the information founder, liquidity marketplace, tons of projects we have. We have Solana project. So come and check all of the project. At least build four project, which is very important. Once you will build four project, that will give you a better understanding that what exactly you have to do, how you have to prepare yourself, and what other things are required to build any type of application. So I hope this video helped you a lot to understand that what exactly you have to do and how you can build any type of application. So with that, I'm ending this video. If you have any question, any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to help you in that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.